Well, howdy there, friends. Today we're embarking on a remarkable journey to catch a glimpse of how the cast members from That's My Mama have changed over the years. We'll be revealing their true identities and ages, and you're in for a real treat as we compare their youthful days on the show to the present year of 2024. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all ready for this ride? Let's get this journey rolling. 1. Clifton Davis as Clifton Curtis. Clifton Curtis, who was a regular at Clifton's Barbershop, a central location in the show. Prior to achieving success as an actor, Davis pursued a career as a songwriter and penned the Jackson 5's second hit, Never Can Say Goodbye. His introduction to Broadway came in the mid-1960s when he stepped in as a replacement in the original Broadway production of Hello, Dolly. In 1969, he took over the role of Lee Haynes from Cleveland Little and Jimmy Shine, sharing the stage with Dustin Hoffman and Rue McClanahan. Davis shared the spotlight with singer and Broadway artist Melba Moore on her musical variety TV program. Later, he made a special appearance on the third episode of the inaugural season of The Bobby Vinton Show in September 1975, delivering performances of I've Got the Music in Me and Never Can Say Goodbye. Collaborating with Vinton, he sang the Polish lyrics to the show's theme song, titled My Melody of Love. Between 1987 and 1989, Davis assumed the role of associate pastor at the Loma Linda University Seventh-day Adventist Church in Southern California. Over the past 25 years, he actively engaged with Youthville, USA, an organization dedicated to children's services. As the co-founder and co-pastor of the Welcome Christian Center in Huntington Beach, California, Davis served the community. He is a licensed minister at St. Luke Baptist Church in New York, New York. With more than 30 years in interdenominational ministry, Davis has been a national spokesperson and advisory board chairman. He takes on the role of MC and host for The Most Soulful Sound, an annual gospel choir competition held in Raleigh, North Carolina. Additionally, Davis spearheads an annual celebrity golf tournament at Elizabeth City State University, where he also held the position of Vice Chancellor for Institutional Advancement. 2. Teresa Merritt as Eloise Mama, Curtis Eloise Mama Curtis is depicted as a supportive and caring mother, providing wisdom and guidance to her son, Clifton, as he navigates life and relationships. The character adds a familial and nurturing element to the comedic situations within the show. That's My Mama explores the dynamics of the Curtis family, offering a blend of humor and heartfelt moments. Originally from Emporia, Virginia, Merritt participated in numerous stage productions, but rose to prominence later in life when she played the role of Ma Rainey in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, earning her a Tony Award nomination. She also gained recognition for her portrayal of Aveline in The Wiz, taking over the role from Mabel King. Merritt's Broadway career featured appearances in Mule Bone, 1991, Division Street, 1980, Don't Play Us Cheap, 1972, The Crucible, 1972, Trumpets of the Lord, 1969, Golden Boy, 1964, Tambourines to Glory, 1963, and Carmen Jones, 1943, 1945, 1947. Additionally, she toured with traveling productions of Funny Girl, Showboat, and South Pacific. In film, Merritt delivered notable performances as Aunt M in the 1978 cinematic adaptation of The Wiz, Mrs. Crosby in the 1977 film version of Neil Simon's The Goodbye Girl, and Juanita in the Adam Sandler comedy Billy Madison. She also appeared alongside Burt Reynolds and Dolly Parton in the film adaptation of The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Merritt was wed to Benjamin Hines, and together they raised four children. At the 34th National Convention of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority in 1977, Merritt and E. Fanny Grantone of Jet Magazine were bestowed with honorary memberships. Merritt succumbed to skin cancer on June 12, 1998, in the borough of the Bronx, New York City. 3. Ted Lang as Junior, in the television series That's My Mama, 
The character Junior is portrayed by actor Ted Lang. Lang entered the world in Oakland, California in 1948, born to Geraldine and Theodore William Jr., both active in the realms of theater and television. Following his college years, Lang initiated his journey in theater, participating in local Oakland productions and serving as a guest artist in residence at the University of Santa Clara. Subsequently, he became a part of the new Shakespeare and Company, taking on roles in plays at the University of California, Berkeley. Marking his Broadway initiation, Lange graced the stage in the musical Hair and took part in the inaugural national tour of the production. He also delivered a one-man performance titled Behind the Mask, an evening with Paul Lawrence Dunbar. In the early 1980s, endorsed by Lynn Redgrave, whom he encountered on an episode of Love Boat, Lang attended a summer school at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art to hone his Shakespearean acting skills. Post his departure from the show in 1987, Lang ventured into various films and made guest appearances on shows like 227, In the Heat of the Night, Evening Shade, Boy Meets World, The King of Queens, Scrubs, Drake and Josh, Psych, The Cleveland Show, and Are We There Yet? In 1978, Lang tied the knot with Cheryl Thompson, and their marriage concluded in 1989. The duo shares two children, Theodore William IV and Turner Wallace Lang. In 2001, Lang found love again with Mary Lay. His mother, Geraldine Lang, formerly served as a personal secretary to a San Francisco mayor and held the position of public affairs director of KBHK-TV in San Francisco during the early 1970s. She also hosted programs on KBHK-TV. Lauded for his prowess in theater directing, Langa received accolades such as the NAACP's Renaissance Man Theater Award, the Heroes and Legends HAL Lifetime Achievement Award, and the Dramalogue Award. Additionally, Langa has been honored with the James Cagney Directing Fellow Scholarship Award from the American Film Institute, along with the Paul Robeson Award from Oakland's Ensemble Theater. 4. Teddy Wilson as Earl Chambers Earl Chambers in That's My Mama was portrayed by actor Teddy Wilson. Born in Harlem, New York City, Wilson pursued music studies at Florida A&M University before transitioning to drama. Upon his return to New York, he became a member of the Negro Ensemble Company and later collaborated with the Arena Stage Repertory. Wilson initiated his acting career with his debut in the black exploitation film Cotton Comes to Harlem in 1970. In September 1976, Wilson was presented with and accepted a contract from Tandem Productions, the production company owned by Bud Yorkin and Norman Lear, prolific producers of popular television sitcoms in the 1970s. Wilson proceeded to make guest appearances in various series produced by York and Lear, including All in the Family, Sanford and Son, What's Happening, The Jeffersons, and 13 Queens Boulevard. Following the cancellation of the series, Wilson made several guest appearances on TV shows such as The White Shadow. He also authored an episode in 1980, Enos, Gimme a Break, The Golden Girls, and What's Happening Now. In 1986, he assumed the role of Jim Jam in another short-lived series, The Red Fox Show. Throughout the late 1980s and early 1990s, Wilson continued his work, making appearances in Alien Nation, Dallas, Family Matters, Tales from the Crypt, Gabriel's Fire, Mama's Family, and Quantum Leap. Additionally, he featured in various films, including The Hunter, 1980, Blake Edwards' A Fine Mess, That's Life, both 1986, and Mel Brooks's Life Stinks, 1991. Wilson's final on-screen appearance was in Blood in, Blood Out, a 1993 crime drama released posthumously. Wilson was a father to three children, Theodore Jr., Robert, and Nicole. The latter two were with actress Joan Pringle, Wilson's co-star during the second season of the television series, That's My Mama. Pringle was appointed executrix of Wilson's estate following his death in 1991. 
On July 21, 1991, Wilson passed away due to complications from a stroke at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles at the age of 47. He had undergone open-heart surgery several years before his demise. 5. Liesl Wilson as Leonard Taylor Liesl Wilson takes on the role of Leonard Taylor in the show. Liesl Astor Wilson Jr. was a renowned American actor, famous for portraying Leonard Taylor on the ABC sitcom That's My Mama, which aired from 1974 to 1975. His cinematic endeavors included roles in Brian De Palma's horror feature Sisters, 1972, and The Incredible Melting Man, 1977. He gained acclaim for his guest appearances on various television shows like Lou Grant, The White Shadow, and Falcon Crest, among others. Liesl served as the director of the American Academy of Dramatic Arts West, located in Pasadena, California, for several years. Following the conclusion of his regular acting career in 1992, Liesl transitioned to instructing vocal techniques for aspiring broadcasters at the Academy of Radio and Television, broadcasting in Huntington Beach, California. His parents were Liesl Wilson, Sr., and Cecile, Ross, Wilson. Liesl Wilson passed away on March 14, 2010, succumbing to a reported brain tumor. 6. Lynn Moody as Tracy Curtis Taylor Lynn Moody takes on the role of Tracy Curtis Taylor in That's My Mama. Born in Detroit, Michigan, Moody grew up in Evanston, Illinois, a northern suburb of Chicago. Moody's mother served as a social worker, while her father worked as a doctor for a Chicago-area hospital. For high school, Moody attended Evanston Township High School, graduating in 1963. Before pursuing her acting career in Los Angeles, Moody worked as a stewardess. In 1977, Moody portrayed Irene Harvey in Alex Haley's ABC television miniseries Roots. She later reprised her role in Roots, The Next Generations, which aired in February 1979. From 1979 to 1980, Moody played Polly Dawson in the ABC show Soap. Moody also had notable television roles, such as Patricia Williams in Knott's Landing, and Nurse Julie Williams in ER. In 2000, she had a recurring role on the hit ABC daytime drama series General Hospital as Florence Campbell. During the 1990s, Moody engaged in public service radio spots for Africare, working to improve the livelihoods of Africans. Alongside fellow Roots cast members Georg Stanford Brown and Louis Gosset Jr., Moody has never entered matrimony and is a mother to one child. She gave birth to a daughter on December 10, 1964, whom she placed for adoption. In June 2018, Moody experienced a reunion with her daughter, Lisa Wright. Wright located Moody through a 23andMe DNA test with the assistance of Moody's brother. Before this reunion, Moody spent years searching for her daughter, even seeking the help of Alex Haley. 7. Jester Hairston as Wildcat Jester Hairston portrayed the character of Wildcat in the television series. Hairston lent his voice to the Hall Johnson Choir in Harlem, facing challenges due to his Boston accent conflicting with the rural dialects in some songs. His position in the all-black choir was at risk, prompting him to shed his Boston accent and reacquaint himself with the country speech of his parents and grandparents. He featured in the television sitcom The Amos and Andy Show, embodying the role of the sophisticated Henry Van Porter. Additionally, Hairston took on the character of Leroy in both the radio and television versions of Amos and Andy. His portrayal of Wildcat was notable on the show That's My Mama. In his later years, Hairston appeared as Raleigh Forbes on the show Amen, with his final television appearance in 1993 on an episode of Family Matters. The radio program Bold Venture also featured him as King Moses for the Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall show. During his senior years, Hairston became a cultural ambassador for American music, leading choral groups to various countries. In 1985, he directed the Jester Hairston Chorale, a diverse ensemble, in a performance in China during a time when foreign visitors were uncommon, 
Jester Hairston passed away in Los Angeles from natural causes in 2000 at the age of 98. Recognizing his significant contributions to the television industry, Hairston was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, situated at 6201 Hollywood Boulevard. He rests at Inglewood Park Cemetery, Inglewood, California. 8. DeForest Coven as Josh DeForest Coven takes on the role of Josh in the sitcom. DeForest Coven, an actor, dancer, and former performer in Black Vaudeville, was an American talent whose career spanned from his debut in the 1936 film The Singing Kid to the 1990s. In the early months of 1978, he featured in two episodes of the television series Good Times, initially portraying Reverend Beasley in the episode titled Something Old, Something New, and subsequently as the character Shorty in the episode titled Right On, Thelma. Additional appearances included Martin, 1993, and NYPD Blue, 1993. 9. Joan Pringle as Tracy Curtis Taylor Joan Pringle took on the role of Tracy Curtis Taylor in the series. Pringle's journey in the world of acting commenced on the stage. Her debut on Broadway happened as Rosita in a 1970 production of Camino Real. In that same year, Pringle portrayed Edith in the musical operation Sidewinder by Sam Shepard. By 1973, she found herself under contract as a Universal Studios player. Making her screen entrance that year, Pringle appeared as a pregnant woman delivering a premature baby in Emergency. She held a recurring role as Diana, the lawyer wife of Mark Sanger, in the crime drama Ironside. In The Waltons, she portrayed Esther, a friend of Aaron Walton who faces job rejection due to her race. In the realm of film, Pringle took on the role of housekeeper Sarah in Original Sin, 2001, and a judge in Tyler Perry's Daddy's Little Girls, 2006. On Girlfriends, Pringle played the recurring character Carol Hart, the mother of Tracy Ellis Ross's character Joan Clayton. Additionally, she portrayed Flex Alexander's mother, Eunice, on the sitcom One on One. Following her time on Girlfriends, Pringle appeared in the television series Being Mary Jane, 2014, and the feature film The Lost City, 2022. She was wedded to actor Theodore Teddy Wilson from 1980 until his passing in 1991. The couple shared two children, twins Robert and Nicole, B. 1980. In 1998, Pringle married Vernon L. Bowling, a producer. Pringle, once a chain smoker, successfully kicked the habit by 1979. 10. Helen Martin as Laura Helen Martin assumes the role of Laura in the series. Martin was born in St. Louis and raised in Nashville, Tennessee. She was an only child born into a family of musicians. Martin's parents aspired for their daughter to become a concert pianist. At their encouragement, Martin attended Fisk University for a two-year span before leaving to pursue an acting career. During the Great Depression, Martin sustained herself as a domestic worker. Martin featured in a dozen Broadway shows, including Jean Genet's The Blacks, the musical Raisin from 1973 until 1975, Osi Davis's Pearly Victorious, and later the musical version named Pearly, The Amen Corner, and Tennessee Williams's Period of Adjustment. While appearing on Late Night with Conan O'Brien to promote Don't Be a Menace, Martin captivated host Conan O'Brien and the audience with her comments. In response to a question about playing a pot smoking grandmother in the film, she exclaimed, I love the reefer, and humorously expressed that she would have been a stripper if not for her acting career, concluding with a suggestive dance. Martin passed away from a heart attack on March 25, 2000, in Monterey, California, at the age of 90. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey as we revisited the beloved cast of That's My Mama from 1974 to 1975, and explored their incredible careers then and now. From the heartwarming performances of Clifton Curtis, the charming antics of Tracy Curtis Taylor, to the unforgettable characters portrayed by Teddy Wilson, Joan Pringle, and the rest of the talented ensemble, 
Each cast member contributed to the show's unique charm. Feel free to leave your thoughts and memories in the comments below. And who knows, perhaps we'll revisit more classic shows and their remarkable casts in the future. Until then, thank you for being a part of this wonderful journey through time. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and as always, take care and keep the memories alive.